Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We have acquired a small piece of paradise, nature, and we don't understand much. But we are growing, we are learning to deal with what is instead of what we would like it to be. We have on this farm two culverts. One main one, about almost a meter in diameter, the culvert. And that is was placed in a creek, an occasional creek we have and uh, it causes a lot of problems. This was the first structure we looked at when we arrived on the farm because we would like to utilize this supplementary water that does arrive on this farm. Over and above the rainwater we receive. So we have learned quite a few things. We experimented a lot with pipes and rocks and flow. Sky now entered the culvert. He likes to walk right to the other side. Uh, about five, six kilometers this way to the south. We have a mountain range and in the opposite direction uh, must be five, six kilometers as well. Another mountain range. Sierra uh, Morena. It's called Morena, the brown. And uh, it's because of this jara, this um, cystus brush that turns uh, this brown color this time of the year. And when you look f from a distance, the whole mountain range appears to be colored in brown. So here we are. Um, what have we learned? Number one, water flows because of a difference in potential energy. The higher and the lower part of the land creates this potential energy difference and it flows. So, and then in our case, it enters a pipe, a culvert and then it leaves. Now, on that side, the potential energy allows <coughs> the water to come into the pipe. Then because of this narrow pipe, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Movement. And this culvert increases the kinetic energy between 10 and 20 times of what it was before it entered this tube, this culvert. Now, when it leaves, it's another story. Number two, in my naive state of understanding, I thought the potential energy converted into uh, kinetic energy will just dissipate into potential energy again and it flows wonderfully down here. But to my horror and surprise I learned that this is not the case. What happens is the kinetic energy 10 to 20 fold times increase from what it was. It then 
creates turbulence and heat this energy is converted in mainly into turbulence not into potential energy especially in this area where it leaves and um, that's why one has mist rising after the end of a shoot or something where water uh, runs fast is because of the heat leaves the energy is converted into heat it rises and it takes droplets of water with it then the turbulence is in this area i have this wall reinforced concrete wall stone built on bedrock this is bedrock and the idea is to i stick four planks in here and one there the water rises amongst the turbulence and i would like some water to leave through there our new canal that serves our ponds and also most of our swells but I don't want too much water there that's why I put it right at the back where the turbulence is the least from what is happening here I also would like to remove that plank and the top one here because the inlet is still much lower and uh, it worked when we had tubes in here and I really hope it will work here where I stand we have taken out the sand from there is a massive sediment trap and this is about a meter higher and that's also about a meter higher and uh, the first rainfall is usually the most violent because the soil is extremely dry the water just run off and also it brings with it a lot of uh, organic material there is a pig farm higher up and they trample everything to dust so all that just come down here and the idea now is to leave it open for the first and perhaps the second rainfall so that it can just wash it all down here instead of taking it down the canal so in the engineering world after a culvert they usually have stilling basins which are very scientific complicated structures and uh, I have no idea what they really are we have placed a lot of rocks in that area and here try to utilize the turbulence to pacify the water to get it to flow in a serpent way and not just straight like in the past that's why we have these boulders here underneath the soil lots of rocks this oak trunk we will remove some of the sand here and lower it before this sandbags hopefully one day we can change them for some organic bags and then the water goes down but there is another main issue we repeat the whole process there is a kanat an ancient water harvesting system 
is a canal and all the soil was placed here so it narrows the creek once again so for 23 meters on bedrock a narrow area there is the wall built to protect this canal system by people a long time ago and it accelerates the water once again over a 20 oh, sorry 33 meter distance because this is also still narrow very narrow rock structure here a lot of turbulence once again it even washed away this massive um, cabian we have here or bulged it now we have 17 different leaky weir structures, which I will record in another time. So we are learning potential energy converted into kinetic energy through the culvert and then converted into turbulence and heat energy when it leaves. So we have the process happens once, it happens twice, and then it comes to this area where it can perhaps be slowed down. And once again, a lot of hard work to get all these trunks in here. They are extremely heavy. Okay, I have a clear mind on what is happening after two and a half years and we are working with this and let's see where it's going. Let the rain come, but it might be six weeks or two months away. Beautiful sunrise once again. Till next time, goodbye.